वेलकम टू गणिता सूत्रास मैथमेटिक्स ऑन फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल्स क्लासेस वी आर इन दिस यूनिट थ्री फोकसिंग अपॉन द टेक्स्ट फॉर्मुलेशंस टुडे द फोकस इज अपॉन फॉर्मुलेशंस फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स दीज फॉर्मुलेशंस टुगेदर मेक the text of ganita sutra 2 niklim namasta charmam dashata is the text of ganita sutra 2 this text is of three formulations and up till now we have already been through the text of ganita sutra 1 ekadhiken purve as well as through the text of gita of sutra 1 3 so it makes us a formulations 4 5 and 6 let us revisit these formulations the formulation niklim is a scripture of seven letters and this this table with serial number 1 to 7 of the letters of this text न इ ख इ ल अ अनुस्वार एंड इट हैज द टी सी वी वैल्यूज एट टू 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 फाइव वन एंड नाइन समेशन वैल्यूज ट्वेंटी नाइन एंड दिस समेशन वैल्यू इज पैरल टू टी सी वी वैल्यू ऑफ फॉर्मुलेशन ब्रह्म एंड वी नो ब्रह्म इज एन ओवर लॉर्ड ऑफ क्रिएटर द स्पेस फोर स्पेस विद इट इट वुड बी ब्लिसफुल टू टेक नोट दैट वेन वी से nikli means all and this when we put it is equal to all when we give simple rendering it all then it will help us appreciate this all would mean that all what stands created the whole range of creation is going to be of a four space of a hypercube four format presided by lord brahma it is this feature of this formulation niklam which deserves to be appreciated as an individual formulation and then when it is to be complemented with other formulations then let us now revisit the formulation navastha charamam this is a text of 14 letters serial number 8 2 21 in continuity of serial number 1 to 7 of the niklim letters the serial number 8 to 21 are the letters 14 letters of the text namasta charmam this formulation is a formulation of 14 letters and these 14 letters accept the tcv values 8 1 7 1 4 1 2 2 1 3 1 9 1 10 of summation value 90 it would be blissful to take note that that this value 50 is parallel tc value deva sureshwar means of a transcendental lord shiv deva sureshwar is the designation of the transcendental lord shiv it is the designation one of the transcendental designation of shiv shahistranam stotram it is of tc value 50 therefore this formulation brahma is when taken in continuity of the formulation navastha charmam then it will be taking us from brahma to deva sureshwar means it will be taking us from hypercube 4 creator the space to hypercube 5 the transcendental space so it is going to be a reach from h4 to h5 a step ahead when we visit the formulation dashata the formulation dashata is again is a scripture of seven letters the serial number 22 to 28 is in continuity of serial number 21 and these seven letters range accepts values 6 1 2 1 4113 of summation value 28 and we know that the value 28 is parallel to tc value 28 of brahm 
means we are reaching from Brahma for space Lord to Devaswar Reshwara a five space Lord and then the reach is at value 28 means the Brahm means the ultimate reach the reach of the eternity and it is this which will help us appreciate as that how the formulation Niklim Navasta Charmam when is approached with the help of the TCB values it brings us face to face a format of a Brahma for space Deva Sureshwar and Brahm and with it we can see that we are actually having a proper transcendental base for the formulation Niklim Navasta Charma Mudashata. This, these formulations as these formulations when are to be read in continuity of the first three formulations of Eka Adhikain Purve and Anarupe so Ganita Sutra 1 then Ganita Upsutra 1 and Ganita Sutra 2 now it is this feature that we have to have a Ganita Sutra 1 then to reach at Ganita Sutra 2 the gap is to be bridged this gap is to be bridged by Ganita Upsutra 1 this reach as it is going to be from Ganita Sutra 1 to Ganita Sutra 2 is to be through the gap bridging by Ganita of Sutra 1. Now let us revisit these six formulations. The two formulations of Ganita Sutra 1, one formulation of Ganita of Sutra 1 and three formulations of Ganita Sutra 2. These are six formulations. Let us see F means a formulation. Let us draw this table. In the first column, let us put 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, indicating that these are, are serial numbers of the formulation. The 1 would mean Ekadhikain, 2 would mean Purvain, 3 would mean Anurupain, 4th would be Niklim, 5th is Navasta Charmam, and 6th is Nidashita. Once we are here in column number 1 in this serial order, then let us see that the next column 2 where L is written, L would mean letters. Now, Ekadhike is a composition of 9 letters, Purvain is a composition of 7 letters, Anurupain is a composition of 10 letters, Niklim is a composition of 7 letters, Navasta Charmam is a composition of 14 letters and Dashata is a composition of 7 letters. It makes a value 54. Now, in the third column, let us have the TCB values, means the transcendental code values of these six formulations. Neka decay will lead to TCB value 40, Purvin leads to value 35, Anurupain to value 42, Niklim to value 28. Niklim is taking us to value 29 and Nostra Charman to value 50 and this is taking to value 28. Now see, this will be taking us to value here 2, 2, 2, 4. Now, the fourth column, SCV, means the syllables code values will be taking five syllables of five syllables means the five vowels of the formulation ekadhikain three vowels of purvain five vowels of anurupain three vowels of niklim six vowels of navasta charmam dashata three vowels of the dashata making it a total range of 25 letters step ahead where the code values 9 is the VCV Vedic code value of Ekadhikain, 12 is the value of 
poor vein, 9 is the value of anurupane, 5 is the value of nickelin, 27 is the value of navastacharmam, 19 is the value of dashata. Now let us see to the yama code values. The ekadhikane, poor vein, anurupane are not having yama letter, ovine, nickelin is having a 1 yama letter, anuswara of value 9. The Navastacharamam is as well is having one Yama letter and Swara of value 9 and the Dashita is having one Yama letter and Swara of value 13 makes it a value 31. Let us have a pause here. Let us know for a comprehensive view as to how these six formulations together this Ganita Sutra 1 together with Ganita Sutra 1 to bridge the gap and Ganita Sutra 2. So Ganita Sutra 1, Ganita Sutra 2 together with the gap filled by Ganita Sutra 1 as a set of six formulations will help us, will provide us these data, this information as letters, as TCV values, syllable code values, Vedic code values and Yama values. This set of values 31, which is the Yama values, we know value 31 is the synthesis value of a linear transcendence ranges 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, when pairs with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and acquires when the synthesis value 1 equal to the linear order, it takes us to value 31. Therefore, the Yama letters of these Ganita Sutra 1, Ganita Sutra 2, with bridging of Ganita Upsutra 1 as such takes us to Yama code values, eternity value and this eternity value is 31 and value 31 we know is the synthesis value of the pair of transcendence ranges of linear order. Further we know that 3 space is the representative regular body, uh, cube is the representative regular body of a 3 space, it is a linear order space body and we know Q is a structural setup of 31 components. 8 points means the corner points, there are 12 edges, then 6 surfaces, 1 volume, there are 3 axes and 1 is the origin, makes value 31. One can have a pause here and take note that the cube is the representative regular body of 3 space. This hypercube 3 is the representative regular body of 3 space and further we know 3 space plays the role of dimension of 5 space and still further we know that this it is a, it is a composition synthetic setup of 31 structural components. Further we know that 31 structural components gave lead to value 31 which is parallel to the synthesis value of pair of transcendence ranges. So it makes a transcendental carrier. This transcendental carrier is of value 31. It is a linear order transcendental carrier. And this transcendental carrier we know is being carried by the transcendental lord 5 space as 3 space plays the role of dimension of a 5 space. Therefore, let us have a pause and let us revisit the Yama code values of formulations 1 to 6. These lead to value 31. Value 31 is parallel to the synthesis value of pair of transcendence ranges. This 31 is also parallel to 31 structural components of a cube. Cube is a representative regular body of a 3 space. 3 space plays the role of dimension of a 5 space. Therefore, transcendental lord, lord Shiv, carries the transcendental carrier of this linear order. As such, the net result is that these Yama code values of these six formulations are ultimately taking us to the phenomenon of transcendental Lord Shiv carrying the transcendental carrier of a linear order. It is here where there is going to be a very big achievement of the organization format of the Ganita Sutras. So the Ganita Sutra 1, 
टू गणित सूत्र टू बै दी गैप ब्रिज दाई गणित ऑफ सूत्र वन दे फोर द मैथमेटिक्स ऑफ गणित सूत्र वन गणित उप सूत्र वन एंड गणित सूत्र टू बिकम्स ए मैथमेटिक्स विच अल्टीमेटली विल टेक टू द यमा कोड वैल्यूज थर्टी वन मीन्स ऑफ ए ट्रांसडेंटल कैरियर एंड दिस इज द फिनमन वेर द ट्रांसडेंटल लॉर्ड फाइव स्पेस लॉर्ड हिमसेल्फ कैरीज द ट्रांसडेंटल कैरियर्स इट इज ए वेरी बिग अचीवमेंट इट इज ए वेरी बिग विजन दिस विजन ऑफ आवर एंसेस्टर्स दिस विजन ऑफ वैदिक मैथमेटिक्स इज द विजन विच डिजर्व टू बी इम्बाइब्ड वेल वन शेल बी फुल्ली कॉन्शियस to this feature and this feature as such will be taking us to how the transcendental carriers are being carried by the transcendental lord himself a step ahead when we go to vedic code value see the vedic code value is taking us to value 81 value 81 is equal to 3 raised to the power 4 that means it amounts to that when five space is playing the role of origin of a four space five space is a solid order space the four space is a spatial order space four space dimensional frame is of a quadruple four spatial dimensions which lead to the value for the dimensional frame is equal to 2 raised to the power 4 as such a lot shape the solid origin solid order origin means that there is a transcendental superimposition so the solid order gets superimposed upon the spatial order and as a result there is a value is 3 raised to per 4 there this is again a very very blissful achievement it is this vision which also deserves to be imbibed fully well first we have been imbibing that yama code values amount to a phenomenon of transcendental lord carrying the transcendental carriers means it is a five space phenomenon then at the next step we know that this phenomenon is the phenomenon which amounts to that there is a transcendence happening and the solid order gets superimposed upon the spatial order and it therefore the reach from this value to which we value is again bringing us in continuity as to how when the transcendental carriers are carried by the transcendental lord and five space playing the role of origin of a four space and five space being of a solid order four space being being of a spatial order the dimensional frame of four space is of the power 2 raised to per 4 and when the solid order gets superimposed upon the spatial order it amounts to a value 3 raised to per 4 wonderful very wonderful blissful very blissful achievement of really comprehension and it is this blissful comprehension which deserves to be imbibed one is to be really blissful to see how our ancestors how the ancient wisdom how the vedic systems are of such a perfection chase of reality of the existence phenomenon of our solar universe these are the features which make vedic mathematics a par excellence mathematics it is this par excellence value which deserves to be imbibed well one shall sit comfortably and to imbibe these values so firstly one shall sit comfortably and permit the transcending mind to have a trans have a transcendental meditation and all the features the whole range of features of this yama code values reach at value 31 and the phenomenon of transcendental lord carrying the transcendental carrier of linear order shall be imbibed then at the next sitting we shall see in continuity as to when this phenomenon happens and there are transcendental carriers being carried by the transcendental lord and we know five space plays the role of origin of a four space therefore there happens to be a reach within a creator space and creator space is a special order space the dimensional frame of creator space is of value 2 raised to per 4 and there happens to be superimposition a transcendental phenomenon of superimposition of a solid order upon the says special order and as a result there happens to be value 3 raised to per 
once we have imbibed these two features then let us go a step ahead a step ahead we will see that there is a sellable code values and sellable code values here is coming to 25 and value 25 is the value equal to 5 square that means the transcendence phenomenon which was happening within a four space with five space in the role of an origin amounts to that the spatial order is taking a transcendence of five steps long along both the axes giving a value 25 <coughs> which is equal to the TCV value of Vishnu. It is this reach, it is this happening, it is this phenomenon. The transcendental carrier of linear order being carried by the transcendental lot. This is YC. Then the transcendental phenomenon happening at the origin of a four space. Or five space is the origin of four space. Five space is a solid order and as a result transcendental phenomenon happens and solid order gets imposed upon the spatial order and as a result the tourist for four value of the spatial dimensional frame of four space there happens to be a superimposition and as a result there comes in a value three is per four a step ahead now once this has happened that the solid order gets superimposed upon the spatial order so this phenomenon when happens and spatial order itself is of a pair of dimensions therefore this transcendental phenomenon of a solid order with its superimposition upon the spatial order leads to a value 25 and value 25 is equal to the value of Vishnu it is here where we see that this sequential step at the third stage of a sequential step is a phenomenon which takes us to a six space. This reach from linear order of a transcendence ranges then there happening to be superimposition of solid order or spatial order as a result there happens to be a value 25 of a six space. Now this six, six space has a base together with these TCV values. These TCV values together with this base of 6 will ultimately, these are the values 224 and this gives a value 230. This value 230 is equal to 23 to 10. It amounts to that we are reaching at the creative boundary of a transcendental domain and this value 23 is equal to 3 plus 5 into 3 into 5 23 and this also is a value which is a value of the goddess Parvati and further we know this is the value of the range of numbers so if we are having numbers 1 to 14 we know its factors are 23 a big step a very very big step in mathematics of a really far excellence features now these par excellence features are to be visited time and again at first step let us visit yama code values then vedic code values then sellable code values then tcv values and now finally at the fifth stage when we reach at letters it takes us to value 54 and 54 is equal to 3 raised to the 3 plus 3 raised to the 3 it amounts to a split for a three dimensional frame of solid dimensions so a solid dimensional frame means each dimension is a solid we are having a three dimensional frame of three solid dimensions and they're happening a split a three dimensional frame splitting into a pair of three dimensional frames of half dimensions and then each dimension is a solid it is a phenomenon so it takes us back to a cube where we see that within the corner points of a cube in each corner of a cube is embedded a three dimensional frame of half dimension it is this split split of a three dimensional frame so the split of dimensional frames into a pair of dimensional frames of half dimensions is a reach is a phenomenon is a mathematics it's a mathematics par excellence it is a mathematics of a bliss this deserves to be imbibed one is to be face to face with it once one is face to face with this achievement of the Vedic systems, of a Vedic knowledge, of a mathematics of Ganita Sutras, one will be wonderfully blissful that the modern mind is miles, miles and miles behind. 
the modern mind somehow has not conceived the existence phenomenon in its reality. The modern mathematics, modern mind is taking it a three space as of a three dimensional frame of three linear axes. This modern mathematics has yet to conceive, has yet to be face to face with as that these are become a solid dimensions. So a three dimensional frame of three solid dimensions splitting into a three dimensional frames, a pair of three dimensional frames of half dimensions and each half dimension itself is a solid dimension, a phenomenon, a phenomenon par excellence. It is this par excellence phenomenon which deserves to be imbibed. Therefore, the students of Vedic mathematics, when are chasing the formulations, then one is to be very, very cautious as formulations themselves, in fact, are a very big step forward as each formulation is essentially availing what the letters. Therefore, simultaneously, we shall chase first in terms of the first letters of all the formulations, then the second letters of all the formulations. And like that, we have to proceed. Today, let us have a focus upon the first letters of the 16 Ganita Sutras. These first letters of 16 Ganita Sutras will take us the first Ganita Sutra is giving a letter A of value 6. Ganita Sutra 2 has the first letter now of value 8. Ganita Sutra 3 has a first letter elongated third vowel of value 6. The fourth Ganita Sutra is having first letter Pa of TC value 5. The fifth Ganita Sutra is having first letter Sha of value 2. The sixth Sutra is having first letter O of value 2. The seventh Ganita Sutra is having first letter Sa of value 3. The eighth Ganita Sutra is having first letter Pa of value 5. The ninth Sutra is having first letter Cha of value 2. The tenth Sutra is having first letter Ya of value 1. The eleventh Sutra is having first letter Wa of value 7. The twelfth Sutra is having first letter Sha of value 2. 13th Sutra is having first letter Sa of value 3. 14th Sutra is having first letter A of value 6. 15th Sutra is having letter Ga as 3 and 16 also Ga as 3 and C. This takes us to value 64. We know value 64 means we are coming to a 6 space. 6 space with 4 space playing the role of a dimension. Here also we see that Ganita Sutra 1, the first letter is of value 6 and second letter is of value 4. Further we know that value 64 is the synthesis value of a pair of creative dimensional transcendence ranges 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. 4 as a synthesis value. 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 gives us a value 64. It is here where the beauty of the organization format of Ganita Sutras is before us. Therefore, the Ganita Sutras deserve to be chased in its all, all features. So, when we, we have to chase Ganita Sutra 1, 2 and we reach up till 16, then one way to chase it is that let us chase its first letters. The first letters of 16 Sutra, first letter is A, it gives us a value 6. Here the first letter is now gives the value 8 and like that 16 to give value 3. Therefore, let us have a focus and our chase is to be like this as well. At the next step, we have to chase the second letter of all the 16 sutras and like that we have to exhaust it. Therefore, the one way of having glimpse of and to be face to face with and to imbibe the values of the mathematics of Ganita Sutra are to chase formulation wise. And this formulation wise chase is one way only. The further micro level chase will be that we have to chase it letter wise. And this letter wise chase as such is to be in many ways. And one way is let us first chase the first letters, then second letters and so on. And simultaneously, as we have seen previously, that the 16 letters of the Ganita Sutra 1, 
and the 16 Ganita Sutras. Therefore, the first letter of the Ganita Sutra 1 and the second letter of Ganita Sutra 2 is changed like this. And then when we be having a first letter of all the sutras here, and then the chase also would be like this. This way we will see we are going through a grid, a knitting, internal knitting. It is this knitting, this organizational format knitting of the text of Ganita Sutras which deserves to be chased. So we shall be very sincere. We have to proceed very gently. We should proceed sequentially and all the organization format features of the text of Ganita Sutras deserve to be imbibed. Presently we are imbibing in terms of the formulations. Then as is impressed now, the same also deserves to be changed in terms of a column making the first letters of all the sutras, the second letter sutras and like that. From this stage we will be picking up the thread further and we will be having further insight and we will be face to face with the emerging organization formators, uh, features of the Ganita Sutras. Thank you very much.